Tonight, a million dollar matchmaker. Who do we got this week? A man named Derek Smoot. The biggest problem is Derek Smoot loves Derek Smoot. I want only a 10. I just got off the phone with Tracy. Deal. What else do you do? I'll go through their phone. You're expecting the worst, therefore you're getting the worst. And the truth is, you're shallow. I don't give a what you say. I have an answer for you. on the wall. The answer Look is at yourself. Let's talk about you. Say stop music. People don't disrespect see, me in this, my own family. Say Music. Everyone, all that. Welcome to the Millionaires Club. I'm Patty Stanger, and I'm a third generation matchmaker who knows how to find love. I've upped my game and taken over an exclusive resort. This is so nice. Where I can watch my clients every move and give them hard truths and much needed love lessons. If I can't fix you up, who can? My goal is simple find them love. Another match for the Millionaires Club. I am the million dollar matchmaker. Let's get to work. So I've got Victoria. She'd be perfect for Mr. Sussman because she works for Disney. Patty, Hi. can I interrupt? Sure. What's up? I just got off the phone with Tracy. Hi, welcome to the Millionaires Club. Miss Steele. Hi, how are you? My name is Tracy Steele. I'm 37 years old, and I live in Atlanta with my son, and I am a radio and TV personality. She's sultry. Successful. She's like a beautiful great urban mother. goddess. Mm -hmm. And she's smart. Being a DJ and a TV personality in a male-dominated industry is very tough, but I'm very proud of my accomplishments. I've done a lot, but it's hard to meet the right kind of guy. I've dated all cheaters. <laughs> You should see the guys that she's dated, up and coming rappers, DJs, couple of athletes. Yeah. It's total TV bad boys. Family. She's really attracting crap. Thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. Because I've been cheating on so many times, it's hard for me to just trust immediately. Some people trust as soon as they walk in the door, not me. I don't trust your ass at all. Candace, what about her social media audit? In her tweets, she comes across very hard. She even says, I'm difficult to deal with. Oh. And if you can't handle it, then you shouldn't be with me. She's got the fame, she's got the money, she's got the life. Like, what is wrong? I gotta fix this. If I don't find love, I could be that old ass lady with 450 cats. You know, I don't wanna be that. I want a happy, fulfilling life with someone. Now, who else do we have this week? We have a man named Derek Smith. Welcome to the Harris Resort, Mr. Smooth. Thank you. I'm Derek, I'm 31. I'm the owner and president at Dapper Industries, which is high fashion for men. Welcome to the Millionaire's Club. Well, thank you. I'm single right now because I haven't been looking for a girlfriend or a wife. I've been concentrating on building my companies. I've gotten pretty picky at this point because I don't want to settle down with the wrong girl. Okay, so what'd you find in the social audit? So he's posting like all the tickets that he gets for all the free shows that he gets to go to. It's all about bragging. Yeah, that's what makes him feel like a man, is everything that he has that he can show the world. Look what I have, uh -huh. or look who I know, look, or look who look I'm I got. with. Look he thinks he can get anybody, anytime, anywhere. I live on Las Vegas Boulevard inside of a casino. And being in the high fashion industry, I also get to choose models. I'm around beautiful women all the time. Is he willing to find love? He said he wants to find love. Okay, maybe this is the turning point for him. Ooh, okay, I like this. I'm building a public image, and when you see a handsome guy with a gorgeous girl, you think to yourself, well, what makes this guy so special? And that is what people need to feel when they look at me. This retreat is breaking down your barriers to find out why you're single and where is the right love for you. It's not to use us because they want to get hooked up with a hottie. I've never done online dating because I'm too high profile for that. Think about it. Could you imagine Ben Affleck with a Tinder page? So the biggest problem is Derek Smoot loves Derek Smoot. And I wanted to tell Patty, if you can introduce me to one girl that makes me want to be with only one, let's meet her. So let's break him this week. I got some gears turning already. Mm -hmm. Earlier, Tracy had her love lesson, and now she's about to get a reality check. Okay, here she comes. Hello. Hi, Tracy. Tracy. How are you? 
but she needs to listen to me every single word and follow through, or she's never gonna find love at the end of this experience. So I know you really want love. Oh my God. Okay, I know you've been cheated on. Yeah. Okay, so how many times have you been cheated on? I think every relationship. Let's talk about the trusting process. Okay. Do they have yeah. girlfriends at the top of the hour and pretend they're single? Probably, he okay. probably had. Ah, ah. It's... A light bulb just went off on me. <laughs> so you're telling me you're not qualifying your buyer to see if they're really available. I will research, oh, trust she me. Does I'm plenty of research. I am so FBI. What else do you do? I'll go through their phone. Okay, how do you get in the phone if they have a code? Oh, I'll find the code. I don't play no games. Listen, I'll be sitting like this, and he doesn't even think I'm looking, and I'm like, I got it, boom. You're expecting the worst, therefore you're getting the worst. Damn. We're gonna use the example of your activity that you just experienced. Wanna talk about it? So you had the three gentlemen, and you had the opportunity to ask them any question you wanted. Tracy is gonna be asking you some questions, and I would appreciate it if you just answer truthfully. Tracy's love lesson was incredibly simple. Earlier, we had her ask three men some questions, and if anything turned her off, she flagged him. If I went through your phone, would you be pissed? Without permission? I, I just went through your phone. Yes, Boom, I think red that's... flag. <laughs> Monogamy. Do you think you can be monogamous with one woman, one, for the rest of your life? Um... Red flag. You've been married. Yes. Do you want to get married again? All right, and so, have you ever cheated? I'll take that. Take your red flag. The guy can be the perfect guy in the world, but because of Tracy's past, she's determined to find something wrong with every man she dates. So when's the last time you had sex? It could be about a week ago. Red flag. I'm actually celibate right now. Here's a red flag, we don't believe you. You have something to hide. All right. You gave it a lot of flags. I did. Okay, and were there people that were good that you gave a flag to that you really shouldn't have given a flag to? Probably. You don't want to attack a man, then their goes wah, 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 and then they don't want to date you, and you say, why don't the men approach you? Because you're attacking them. You've got negative energy. Yeah. You need to soften your energy up. Okay, the truth is, Tracy, I knew how this, this activity was gonna go. You have your own red flags. The issues you have with these men start with you. Louie, will you bring me the flags right now so I can show her what I mean? So, let's talk about your red flags. The first red flag I'd say is you're insecure. Okay, we're grabbing at straws to find out that men are cheating. Yeah. That is an insecure woman who expects the worst. I never looked at myself as an insecure person. You are too negative, so nobody can go past this space, this barrier you've put up. Positive people attract positive men. I thought to myself, this is some <laughs> Why are we all on me now? Why aren't we talking about these cheating men? You're very judgmental. That is where a man feels he's under surveillance, okay? They feel like no matter what they do, they can't satisfy you. So what do they do? They cheat to get the out. <sighs> what she's saying is true. So I'm upset at myself for being insecure when I know I, I'm, I can be stronger than that. We can't have that. Can't have them cheat because they want to run away from you and they're too wimpy to say, I don't like you anymore. And that's why they cheat. They cheat to get out. It's really hard to have your flaws pointed out to you, but when you do see them, that's when you change. That's when miracles happen. You think you're going to be attracted to a man who doesn't cheat? Because I, I worry about that. Are you only interested in players? I pray to God, Because no. I'm giving you a stare. When I set you up on dates this week, you're not gonna interrogate them. You can ask them one question to their three questions. You can ask anything to a guy, what would it be? I don't know. How about <laughs> what's your question. passion in life? That's a great question. What was the first thing that came into your head? <laughs> Have you ever cheated? No, 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 no. That's good, but we're getting that out of the way. So that. what's your passion in life? What's your passion what's in your life? What's your passion in life? Because that opens everything. Patty giving me these flags hurt, and I wanted to say, no, this is not me. But the more she talks, the more I agree with her. So, Candace, you want to show her out? Yes. Because we got work to do. Tracy's in the right hands, but she has to be open and willing to change and trust the process. Breathe. I'm breathing. Expect the best. Um, Meanwhile, I have to deal with Derek Smoot, who's on his way up to my suite right now. <sighs> this week is not going to be easy. Oh, look at the Dapper Dan over here. <laughs> nice to meet you, Derek. How are you? Wonderful. Hi. Is this some of your stuff? Some of my stuff. I hope Derek is wearing a seatbelt, because I can already tell this is going to be a bumpy ride just by the way he looks. What are you looking for? I'm looking for the right piece to the puzzle. I've dated a lot of different girls in the past. Is there anybody you dated that you wanted to marry? 
I can't say that I wanted to marry anyone that I've dated. Do you want to get married? Perhaps. What is, okay, it's no. It has to be like yes or no. I don't believe our generation gets married. Yeah, right. And I know what your type is. You want a Giselle to Tom Brady. That's true. A Giselle type is never gonna date someone like you without the security of marriage, because that's the one thing you have to give that you can't get these women without. That's the security of marriage? You must give security of marriage. You're not hot enough, and you're not smart enough to outsmart them. They're tens we're talking about. Okay. So you need but to give security to because that's- tell me you're not smart enough or not enough of anything? Not smart for... enough. Uh, I don't give a what you say. You don't need to yell at me or bark at me or whatever this is. Like, I'm not barking at you. I, you don't know me, and there's no oh, reason I know for enough anyone about to say, you. hey, I know enough you're about not you. enough of anything to get a 10. I, I juggle 10s. It's so on. Coming up. It's about if you're giving the house, and I'm saying you don't the house, let's talk about you. You came to me. The truth is, you're shallow. Have you ever cheated? Um, I, Depends uh, what you mean. Uh, Did you stick it into a girl uh, 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 vagina a gray area, man. while you were dating another oh, vagina? Awesome. You're not smart enough to outsmart them. They're tens we're talking about. OK. So you need but to give security to because that's- tell me you're not smart enough or not enough of anything. Not smart enough. Uh, I don't give a what you say. You don't need to yell at me or bark at me or whatever this is. Like, I'm not barking at you. I, you don't know me, and there's no oh, reason I know for enough anyone about to say, you. hey, I know enough you're about not you. enough of anything to get a 10. I juggle 10s. You know what the problem is? You don't see the truth. And the truth is, you're damn shallow. And let's you don't face the you. music. You let's don't talk face about you. You came to me. I didn't no, go to you. I didn't go to you. I didn't really go to you. Face about If, if you're building a house, and I'm saying you don't the house. I'm all worked up because this guy will not listen to what I said. Luckily, I gave him a love lesson, a physical example to show him how he treats women. Like you were here because you're shallow. Now let's look at the video. Roll the tape. Well, this here is a little game at the uh, Millionaire's Club we like to call hit it or quit it. OK. The rules are pretty simple. Basically, I have a card here. It's going to have a girl's name, and it's also going to have a little description about her. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to figure out whether you would like to hit it or you'd like to quit it. Got it. All right, so first. Caroline S. volunteers at a local homeless shelter, grew up playing basketball. Caroline S. quit it, even though you look like funny or a good person. And what are you looking for in a woman? A 10? Yeah. Next, we got Danielle S. Personal assistant to a celebrity. Yeah, we'll keep that in the hit it section. All right. So tell me why you would hit it with Danielle. I give her looks like a seven. And personal assistant to a celebrity, I mean, that's what she would be doing if she was my girlfriend anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica H. Too plain. Jessica H, quit it. Sharon N. Why would you submit a picture of yourself with a headband on? No, thank you. Quit it. I'm trusting they get better. Whoa, Emma, do you like drugs, Emma? Not beautiful. Yeah. Sasha D hit it. It's Sasha's hot. Rebecca R. She's got too much of a jawbone. See, shallow. I Rebecca feel you, R. I feel you. Quit it. Are we going through the whole deck? Hello, kitty. Read me the description of her. Kind of got a lazy eye thing going on. <laughs> I'm over here, over here. <laughs> okay. Look at our piles here. So we have a lot more of the quitter. Okay, I'm sorry. Was that shallow? Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the shallowest thing I've shallow. ever seen. You give me nothing to work with. You just criticize people to the floor. You don't even know them. So how about you mirror an mirror you. on the wall? The look at this. yourself. Do you think that there could be a situation where you just kind of jump from one to the next, a serial dater, serial monogamous, and you end up with nothing in the end in your 70s? You think that's what's going to happen? I need to understand you, OK? Let's talk about your past and what went wrong. Well, uh, I know that my parents uh, divorced after 28 years, mm -hmm. the week I graduated high school. Mm -hmm. My mom brought me into my dad's office, and she said, hey, I'm leaving your father. Why? She said, I haven't been happy for a while. I never saw them fight. 
I remember being completely, utterly shocked. Why haven't she been happy? We would have to ask her that specifically. I would say homework was, assignment tonight. Call your mother. Find out why she was unhappy. Now I set, that'll set you free from your belief systems of this can't work and that can't work and I deserve this and I deserve that. You got a lot of judgment on you. My parents' divorce was a real eye opener, and it's just sad to know that my parents didn't, you know, work it out. But they did work it out for 28 years. It's so common for like everyone is getting divorced. There it is. Let so me talk common. to you about relationships. Relationships are peaks and valleys. Some days you want to kill your husband, other days you want to make love and <laughs> him off. You understand? And that's how it is. You made a decision when your parents got divorced. Relationships are problem. And you don't want to be in a problem. That's why you get bored. That's why you jump from girl to <laughs> girl. I love this year. counseling session. This is wonderful. Derek was blindsided by his parents' divorce. They were married for 28 years because they didn't work out. He thinks like none of his relationships are gonna work out. Do you agree the reason you're single is you have something to work on in the relationship department, yes or no? I think that I'm in a transitional point. I've been No, you didn't answer my question. Why don't you just let go and let me do what I do best? I can't argue with that. Okay, I, like, I like your method of thinking. And I'm excited to see the way you solve the puzzle of Derek's mood. I'm having doubts that Derek heard anything I said. I'm gonna have to go to extremes with this guy. He's a tough case. He thinks, you know, he deserves this level of a girl and that we're just gonna go here, take her. Like, no, I'm sorry, there's work to be done before you get to get that. He's gotta earn it the old fashioned way, exactly. which is looking inside himself before he can get a girl. It's recruiting day, and there are a lot of daters here. I need to find the perfect match for my millionaires. You know, it's a two-way street. Love has to be a match on both sides. Let's start with Tracy. What's we need it? to find somebody who would never cheat, you know, maybe has a kid. Right. And someone who will not present any doubt in her mind. So it's very important that we find her the right guy today because she is really learning from us. Yes. Louie, we're gonna do Chris and Maurice. Maurice, how are you doing, sir? Pretty good. Nice to meet you. All right, nice to meet you. Let's start with Maurice. You're sweating really bad. The, the lights are okay. kind of hot. What do you do for a living? I'm a realtor. You both have something in common. You're both in the Navy. Yes, are you we friends? Are. We are now. Oh, <laughs> that's so sweet. I'm in advertising. Model and act. I'm a personal trainer and a independent filmmaker. Have you been married? Mm -hmm. And how long were you married for? Four years. What went wrong? Uh, infidelity. <gasps> so she uh, cheated. She have you ever cheated? Um, I, uh, depends what you mean. Uh, <laughs> did you stick it into a girl <laughs> vagina a area, while man. you were dating another oh, vagina? You haven't had a relationship for four years? Yep. Wow. Whoa, you and your wounded. You're Wally the wounded. Do you want to get married again? Definitely. Oh, that was fast. Yeah, she's ooh, honest. He is ooh, honest. Ooh. Do you believe all men cheat? I think a lot of do. I think a lot of women do, too. I don't think it's just one thing or the other. Adam, have you ever cheated? I have. Oh, you're a cheater. Adam, this is the best really policy, right? You've cheated. Honestly, it's the best policy. I have. I've been married before. How many years? Seven. And you've never cheated? No, I've never cheated. In fact, I only had three girlfriends in my life, including my ex-wife. Ooh, I like that. Are you OK with dating someone who has kids? I would probably prefer if they didn't. <laughs> Wrong answer. How old are your kids? 13 to 7. That's good, for, that's good for her. I have a three-year-old. Ah, oh, perfect. I have one. How old? Three. Oh, with this wife or no, somebody else? I was out. Oh, the child at a wedlock. OK, so you can go back to Louie right now. It was All really right. nice Thank meeting you both of you. Guys. Really nice. There's three of them I really like. I like Edwin because he's caring and nurturing and family oriented. Nivelle? Yep. Yeah. Yep. I like his really personality. Like and Robert. We got yeah. such good mm -hmm. people today. I Candace, you did such Thank a you. good job. Derek is shallow hell. Derek wants Demi Lovato or Beyonce, but I really need a woman today that is just more than looks, like that can push the ass back and teach him a lesson. With some substance. I need some sass. My last meeting proved what a shallow man Derek really is. His stubbornness is going to make recruiting difficult. Marissa, what do you do? I am an assistant at a production company. Um, I'm a political consultant. I'm an on-camera host for the live motorsports tour. I'm a hairdresser. You clip downstairs as well as on top? Anything they want. 
<laughs> I'm a certified pharmacy technician. You really want to help people. Yes. He needs help. <laughs> He's got that red dress and those big tits, huh? I like, you know, showing my body. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He's superficial, that looks good. Like if he said, I don't like your outfit, your manicure and your pedicure don't match. Wouldn't deal well. <laughs> okay. Would you want to live in a casino? It depends how nice the suite is, right? <laughs> so you're Jewish? My friends call me Martha Jewer. I love to like stay at home and cook and clean. She's thin, although you did buy those tits, right? Yes. Okay, good. So here's the problem. You're curvy and you're thick. The client is like totally shallow in the looks department. I'm a student and I also do a lot of acting, modeling. You're beautiful. Oh, thank like you. Halle Berry. Yeah, gorgeous. Beautiful. I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> How would you handle somebody who tries to critique you and cut you down? You can't sell the dream looking like a nightmare. Nice line. How I you? like you. I mean, I'll value his opinion and think about it. I don't think we'd be the right match. Good answer. <laughs> what if he criticized you? What would you do? I just leave. I'm worth somebody's time. I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't go to the club often. She won't be fooled by his casino <laughs> bull <laughs> Spot on, you get aces from me. So he says to you, why are you wearing those ugly ass shoes with that outfit? Because I like the way that I feel in these shoes with this outfit. But I am really wondering about the shoes. Okay, girls, go see Louis. Thank you. He's waiting for you. I love that Amaris has her own business. We'll push the mother yes. back. Alexa has a lot to offer. Will he criticize her looks? I like Sarah because she has beauty brains in class. She doesn't fall for anyone's tactics. Yep. And Gabrielle was really close. She's a maybe. And I want to make sure that he's doing this for the right reasons and really yes. doing it for real. I have so many potential matches for Derek that I need to find two girls that'll get him out of his own way. Sometimes these clients, they require special handling. So I'm not convinced Derek has changed. I'm altering my program. I'm doing something extra special for Mr. Shallow. Derek, I'm going to allow you to meet the women I chose for you before you go on your dates. OK, are you ready to meet your matches? I am very ready. Good. Meet your matches. Coming up, what do you think of the women? I don't even want to, I don't know. You ungrateful son of a bitch. Yeah, yeah, f that. When I saw the men for the first time, I thought they were not necessarily what I would pick. I know you said you were looking for love, so. I planned a private meeting for Derek to meet his matches before his dates. I need to do some further testing to make sure he's here for the right reasons and to see if we've broken his shallowness. Meet your matches. I'm really hoping these women can live up to what you want. Amorous? So she's got a degree in law. She works in politics. She's actually running two people's campaigns right now. And, you know, she owns her own business. Potential. Mm-hmm. OK, so this is Sarah. She's originally from an island off of the coast of Africa. She is a producer, a writer, a model. She speaks six different languages. Um, the looks are up to par. OK. Girls, you're going to go inside and meet my staff. Can you excuse us? Okay. You and I are going to have a chit chat. Their bar is so high. We really had to work to get these perfect girls, right, guys? What do you think of the women? For me to take it seriously and not lead each other on and waste our time, yeah, I, w I want only the 10. The 10? Of course. OK. Problem is, they're too good for you. Derek has apparently not changed. And I won't subject them to going on a date with you. Men with egos are not worth it. I'm shutting this down. Destin, will you please check him out? Is that, is that really how this is supposed to go? Let's go. Bye. So this has just been a big waste of time? No, it's, it was a waste of our time. I don't know who the f he thinks he is. That's right. And I am not, not going to put someone on a date with an ungrateful son of a bitch who thinks his don't stink.
These women are the perfect matches for him. He's not listening, he's not facing his faults, and above all, he is so not appreciative. People don't disrespect see, me in my hometown this, like this. This man. is what the problem is, is that you think it's about disrespect right now, and it's not. Let's go upstairs yes. and go help Tracy. Let's, Let's do go. It. This is bizarre to me. It's like unthinkably uh, inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, yeah f that. I may have revoked Derek's membership, but that's only to give me more time to focus on Tracy, who really, really wants love. Yesterday at recruiting, I found men who are honest, humble, with integrity. Given Tracy's past, that's what she needs. I hope she asks these men what they're passionate about and that she's open and judgment-free. Hi. What's up, Tracy? How are you? Do nice to meet you. I'm gonna give you a hug. How you doing? Oh, nice to meet you finally. You look beautiful. Thank you. My first impression of Tracy is she's very pretty, got a beautiful smile. Looking forward to actually talking to her and get to know a little bit more about her. What can I get for you? Uh, water. Water? Mm hmm Have a vodka soda? Oh, you ain't playing. I love Navelle because he's a father, he's comfortable with himself, and he puts his children first. Hi. Hello, Tracy, how are you? How are you? I'm good, I'm good. I guess we give hugs around here. What she looked was amazing, I mean. I can't even put it into words. I mean, she's just beautiful. So let's go inside. I'll show you in. <laughs> I chose Edwin because he's got a great sense of humor, he's intelligent, and he has a four-year-old. Take a long yeah. item. There Put you go. <laughs> Good choice. When I saw the men for the first time, I thought they were really handsome. Not necessarily what I would pick, but what I would pick doesn't work for me anymore. So hopefully I get to know them, and one of them is a match. Thank you. I arranged for Tracy to go on the same date twice. This way, she can understand the chemistry between the two guys, and she can feel them out to see if they're a match for her or not. Oh. Are you hungry? As long as it ain't snails or... <laughs> for real? Snails? <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't swim. Are you serious? <laughs> I thought that was part of the date. Once we get so far out there, we're gonna jump over. No. This has been a long journey for me. Patty has almost broken my ass and rebuilt me back up to believe that I can find love, and I think Patty knows what she's talking about, so let's see what happens. What are you passionate about in life? Traveling and just having fun, just living life. I ain't got no drama in my life. No, what? No drama. The baby mama's not a drama either? No dr she cool? She cool, we Ooh. cool, we good. That's nice. You know, when I'm around my son, it's all about him. Nothing else, nobody else. Um, when I'm not around him, I like helping people. You know, people who need help losing weight or, you know, just slimming down, toning up, whatever it is. OK. You can work on that one, that, this, this one and this one. Just those two? Just <laughs> I got you. You got me? I got you. So cheers. Cheers. To a great day. Great day. Nice meeting you. It was great meeting you. The sunset is amazing, so I think we should watch it from upstairs. Let's do that. And it's beautiful up there, so I felt like that would be perfect for him to get maybe a little closer to me, maybe put his arms around me, touch me or something. Like I said before, I know you said you were looking for love. I am. So, you know. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> just want to put a smile on your face. Though. You did a good job. You did a great job. You're so silly. Oh, man. Both dates were amazing. This is going to be tough. I don't know who I'm going to pick. So, Rach, did yeah. the girls that Lucy gave you, did they pan out? Yeah, they look fantastic. I think Mr. Anderson, when he gets here next week, he's going to flip um, over them. Derek just sent us an apology email. What? Like, a serious what? apology email. Oh, come on. Really? No way. Whatever. And he's admitting that he's wrong. Read it to me. No, matter of fact, I think Derek should read this to you because he's here. What? You got him on a plane. I know I got him on a plane, but he didn't apparently get on the plane because he's here at the resort. I really think he should be reading this himself. If he's going to be man up, he should man up. Fine. Bring him up. OK. Can you bring him up? I want to believe that my clients, at the end of the day, realize the error of their ways. But I'm very suspicious about Derek writing that letter. Oh, don't get me wrong. I cashed the check. Because Millionaire's Club does not give refunds. Oh, no, no, no. How you doing? Thanks for having me. Have a seat. Um, Derek, you sent us a letter. And I thought it was in the best interest of all of us to just bring you up here. And I think you should read your letter. OK. 
I want to apologize first for my conduct. I feel like a jerk for discounting your expertise. You've continuously made people genuinely happy, and I'm not genuinely happy. Wow, I was not expecting this from Derek. I know that I'm shallow, and I know that I'm critical towards women. I spoke with my mom. I learned that she was unhappy because my dad didn't make time for her and her needs. I'm afraid of opening my heart to a woman and having her not reciprocate, but I know that that's not the way to go through life. So please give me another chance. Did you really write that letter? Absolutely. By yourself? Absolutely. Did you apologize to me because you wanted me to give you Sarah and Amaris? Or did you apologize because you really realize your whole course in your life is on the wrong direction? I am a thousand percent genuine when I say what I'm doing is temporarily fun, but it's not going to lead me to a solid, complete happiness. Do you want to fall in love? Yes. Do you want to get married? Yeah, I'm ready. That's amazing. OK, no, I'm serious. You learned a valuable lesson. So what do you want me to do with you right now? I want you to give me a second chance and to set me up on these dates and to see how they feel about me. OK, now, if, uh, now if I do this, you're going to have to follow my rules. It's going to be a simple date. It's not over the top, extravagant. I want you to get focused on the internal qualities of the woman, not the external qualities. I want conversation. These are my rules. Can you abide by them? Yeah. Yes, ma'am. I am so proud of Derek. He's a changed man, and he's willing to listen to me now. The fact that he wants to settle down and start a future with someone is remarkable. But now he has to show me that it's for real. Don't blow it. Coming up. Hi there. Can I have a kiss before we go? I made a list of all the pros and cons. No. Oh. Let's see if he's behind that door. never talked to you about what happened with dad and why you guys didn't make it work. Well, it was not a sudden decision. It was one that I mulled over for more than 20 years. Yeah. And I felt unfulfilled. And I think part of the problem was that we didn't know each other well enough before we got married. Well, I feel better, and I love you, and I'm going to let you go, OK? I love you. OK, bye, Mom. It's time for Derek to prove to me that I made the right decision by giving him his matches back. I stripped his date down to a very small meeting with no five-star treatment, no bells, no whistles, nothing. I told Derek to be sincere and a gentleman. And if he doesn't follow my rules, there is going to be such hell to pay. Hi there. This is so sweet. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Patty wants me to make sure I'm genuinely interested in who these girls are and getting to know them. She doesn't want me to barf all over them with who I am. She wants me to learn them. Hello. Hi there. I think these women are great for Derek because they're honest and sensible, and they won't let him get away with <laughs> Which means they won't be dazzled by Derek's BS if he doesn't bring his honest A-game. Yeah. I thought it was interesting how they gave us these things. I'm on diet, but I'll do this for you. <laughs> Here, let's cheers. For, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> when Sarah was walking towards me, I felt like there was something special coming. It was, oh, man. You better be ready for this, buddy. Do you like champagne? I love champagne. <gasps> oh, my goodness. You distracted me for a second. Amaris was really bubbly, and she had a big smile. Definitely of the two, she was a little bit more welcoming. Patty, 
gave us a little game mm -hmm. to help break the ice. Ladies first, actually. So what do you hate the most about the dating process? It's always a period of time until you get to really be you. You mean like the time you take to fake? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess, I guess while, while you're being careful until yes. you can really be yourself. You My first impression of Derek is that he's a really nice person. I like talking to him and I don't know, it's just, it's something about him. I don't know what it is, but it's so interesting. Are you cold, by the way? They gave yes. us blankets. That would be awesome. Why don't we lay one out and sit on it together, and then the other one we can warm you up with? That soon. My butt's a little cold. <laughs> I really think Derek is a lot more down to earth than I thought him out to be. So I think he's a really sweet guy. As I do this, what's your most treasured position? <laughs> possession. Um, possession or position? <laughs> Materially speaking, it's my car. What's the most important life lesson you've learned? Never take stuff for granted. What'd you take for granted? <gasps> my last relationship. Okay. Yes, I had the most amazing boyfriend ever. And I feel like, cause he was so nice to me and I was like, I did whatever I wanted. Mm -hmm. And they told me he cheated. So that changed everything since we broke up with like, I've been single forever. Yeah, I've struck out several times in relationships and a lot of it was probably my fault. I think that Patty would be proud of me because I laid it all on the line. I was humble. Can I have a kiss before we go? On the side. I really thought it was going to be way harder than it really was. And it felt really comfortable to be completely honest did. with you. It did. It did. Cheers. Cheers. Hey, girl. You look beautiful. Come on over and give me a hug. It's time for the moment of truth, where both my millionaires and daters get to decide if they want to check out with someone or go home alone. While I sit down with Tracy to see how her dates went with Edwin and Navelle, Candace will be downstairs with the guys. Fingers crossed that we make matches today. How was the week? The week was intense, mm -hmm. but it was a learning experience. It ended up being amazing because I was able to let go of so much and then open up myself for right. something new. I can feel your energy is now open to love. Your heart chakra is open. This is all good, all positive stuff, you know? Okay, so you be two fabulous men. So what do you like about Novell that's good? Instantly, I was attracted to Navelle's smile. He's like a boss. He has strength and very confident when he talks. Take charge kind of guy. Take charge guy. I'm drawn to. Did you ask him the question I told you to ask him? I did. What I asked him what he's passionate about. And he's passionate about his career and he's passionate about his kids. And that's like the best thing ding, you could have said to me. Yeah. Tell me about Edwin. He has this quiet confidence that I mm -hmm. like about him. He's a great dad. Every moment that he can spend with his son, um, he will. Okay, so that turned you on because you have a son. Yeah, that really made me go, hmm. So you moved in closer. <laughs> right. And you paid attention. This is wonderful because now I'm seeing like, okay, you're relaxed. Yes. He said the right things. He was saying and the right things. And now you're starting to feel centered. Now, what about your red flags? Did I have any red flags? No. Ooh. What does that feel like not seeing a red flag with a guy for the first time? Strange. <laughs> You've grown this week. You were a tough case. I was very, very tough on you. I had to be. Okay, so, it's the moment of truth. We have to decide now, who are you going to check out with? Take your time. Oh, man. Novella's a great guy. I know. And Edwin is so sweet. I know. I think the best choice for me. Coming up. Tracy has chosen who she wants to check out with. If. He wants to check out with you. He's going to be behind the door. Please be there. Oh, really? Who are you going to check out with? I think the best choice for me. Hi, Patty. I understand. Thank you. Okay, gentlemen. Tracy has chosen who she wants to check out with. So Tracy has decided she wants to check out with Edwin. If he wants to check out with you, he's going to be behind the door. But if he doesn't, it will be Candace instead. 
I know how this feels. This is nerve wracking. Hell yeah. I know. Oh my God. Okay. Well, let's see if he's behind that door. Scared you a little bit. What? <laughs> I was hoping that she would choose me. I mean, you know, like I said, once I saw her, I was, I was, you I was knew mesmerized. It. You knew it. <laughs> yeah. I knew. I knew. <laughs> Confidence. So you guys look like a really handsome couple. Oh, do I we? have to tell you, beautiful and handsome <laughs> together. I think Patty did a great job. What yeah, do you think? Patty did awesome. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I have no complaints. This. Neither this... do I. Thank I'll you. See, Tracy, keep Thank in touch you. with me. Absolutely. Edwin, take care of her. Will do. Thank you. Hi. Hi. Hello. Thank Hi. You. Hello, hello. Hey, Hi, Patty. Derek. How do you feel? Wonderful. Feel so awesome. Good. You feel great? Yes. Sometimes with my clients, I have to go to extreme measures to wake them up. Kicking Matt proved to be the best love lesson for him. Do you feel different? I feel great. You are no longer superficial, shallow Derek. Your integrity, authentic, wonderful, handsome Derek that I would date. Thank you very okay? much. I want you to know this. I'm not kidding. You touched my heart by that letter calling your parents. That was a big deal for me. I thought about this a lot last night. OK, I believe in you. And you're humble enough to come back and admit when you're wrong. That, to me, took my breath away. So let's talk now. I had a very, very good experience with both girls. You did? Mm -hmm. OK, good. So did you follow my rules? I was on my best behavior, and I got to know what they do for fun. Well, let's start with Sarah. What did you find you liked about Sarah? I had made a list of all the pros and cons. Oh my god, that is amazing. That See I can how remember. you're doing your homework? I love that you do that. And that's not judgmental. That's being really, really smart. I really felt natural around her. I love that Sarah ate the strawberry that I asked her to eat, and she went along she with it. She trusted you. And on the con side? She mentioned her ex a little bit. It was mm. a tough breakup. It was Red a mistake that she met. Okay. She might be at a dating practice, and she might have been nervous. Maybe not. That's not a big deal. Yeah, and she didn't talk about it too long. OK. So let's go to Amaris. Okay? All right. Now, Amaris has the pedigree that you asked me for. She's really bright that she created an opportunity for herself. Let's talk now about the cons. One of the questions was, what's your most prized possession? And she said, my car. Amaris's personal possession was a car over her family. Wouldn't have that been you three days ago? You weren't criticizing and saying you're, you're great in all these areas. You're very gentle and very sweet and very caring. And I love that you change so much. <laughs> but I've chosen to be more appreciative of the positives mm -hmm. and only to focus on that. Don't That's like, like get amazing. More of it. I'm so happy we gave you a second chance. I'm glad. Me too. So it is the moment of truth. And we must decide, who are you going to choose? So is it going to be Sarah or Amaris? I think I know my decision. So I'm glad you Hold on one second, guys. Hello? OK. I will let them know. Thank you. So Patty is upstairs with Derek right now. And he has made his decision on who he'd like to check out with. Derek has chosen you, Sarah. <sighs> OK, OK, if she chose you, she'll be at the door. If not, Destin and Rachel will be standing there. OK. Give me your hands. I know this is so nerve wracking. How are you feeling? Are you nervous? Yeah, a little bit. OK, deep breath. Louis, you know what to do. Ooh. Oh, really? No. Oh. <laughs> awesome. Look at that dress. Wow. You look amazing. I chose Sarah because I felt like I needed to know her more. Like I had to see her again. So I, I knew that I knew I had to make a move. What a transformation. Great job, team. You killed it.
It was so touch and go this week, but I am thrilled that I found Tracy and Derek matches. Tracy was wanting love and she let her past cloud her judgment, but now she's living with Edwin, who shares the same family values as her. And there are no more red flags. What's great about Derek is he realized his mistakes. He realized that he's willing to do the work. He showed his true self and was able to find love. And it's been four months and guess what? He's still dating Sarah. Next time on Million Dollar Matchmaker. Sonia missed her flight. What do you mean she missed her she flight? She missed her flight. Let's focus on the client that's here this yes. week. Yes. Roble. His problem is he doesn't commit to love. If I never get married, I'll never get divorced. That is bull She wants the truth, right? I don't know if she can handle the truth. I think you're an absolutely beautiful yeah. woman. Thank you. Bye. The needs to be shown the truth about herself. Stop filming. Yeah, I told you this was going to happen.